What? What's wrong? What happened? Peyton just fell, and she said she snapped her ankle and she can't move. Oh, oh my God. No. What? She can't move. She was just walking. It wasn't even like we were rehearsing. She tripped over a chair. Oh, snapped? Oh, what happened? Where? Did you trip over? What did you trip over? Oh, most fun. Tell me now. One to ten. <gasps> Peyton, one to ten. Nine. I get to Peyton, and she is in so much pain. She's not going to be able to get out there and dance with whatever's wrong. Oh, my God. Like they already cracked. You already cracked? All right, stop, 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 stop. Get over there and start reblocking this number. Wake up. Go. The show must go on. Peyton is getting the medical attention she needs. And the girls need to stop watching Peyton and reblock the number and perform without Peyton like the professionals that I'm training them to be. What she heard cracking could be popping, could be a ligament, be a tendon. Take a break. <laughs> Take a breath. Oh, hot dog. Oh, Chris. Oh, 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 I think I have a hot My foot hurts too. Ow. All right. Peyton, strong. She's strong. She's really strong. I don't know what's gonna happen. It can be broken, it can be sprained, you know? It doesn't matter, it's an injury. She's gonna be sitting out no matter what, and which makes her even more vulnerable to being replaced on this team. <laughs> Bye. I'll call, we don't know if you get x-rays. All this pressure that's been put on these kids all week because of the open auditions, then on top of it, Peyton can't dance, I really need for these kids to go out there and nail this number. All right, girls, you re-blocked it. You should know it. That's your responsibility. If somebody goes out there and does the wrong spacing and messes it up, it's not going to be Peyton's fault. It's going to be your fault. You never know what's in store. I need to see each and every one of you start to want it. Because if you don't want it, somebody else does. Everyone's replaceable. All right, come on. Here we go. Break a leg, everybody. Guys, yeah. listen, we have to dance for Peyton, but we also have to dance for us and prove to Miss Abby that we can be professionals and change it right before. Okay, well, let's win. The girls just have moments to rehearse and we block the number before they go on stage. I can barely hold my breath. I'm like, I'm, I can barely breathe at this moment because I'm so nervous for this group's performance this week. This is the junior small group judges. Entry number 68 with smells like team spirits. I'm judging this group performance as if it were an audition for the Abby Lee Dance Company. I can cut somebody right here and right now, just like I did at the open call audition. The group looked good. The re-blocking definitely worked. They went out there and performed like professionals. They did their job, and that's what they're expected to do. Ladies and gentlemen, your highest scoring elite junior small group with a score of 281.2 points is act number 68, Smells Like Team Spirit from the Abbey Lee Dance Company. Good job, girls! Our group won first place overall. Abby doesn't need anybody else for this team. She has her team right here, and she should be more than satisfied. Congratulations! Okay, we'll I, I think
think it was good, but they're trained to do that. They know how to do that. My group should be 10 points above, or my duet, or my trio, against anybody else. So I think Maddie and Mackenzie are safe. Congratulations. Has anyone heard from Leslie? I did. She sent me a text, and I said, how's Peyton? She just said, good. I have no idea how long Peyton is going to be out. I might bring somebody else on the team to try them out. Come on, girls! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Get in here, move it! Those kids ran onto that stage for those auditions. They ran up there. Congratulations, the overall high score winners. I wish it was a great weekend. In Orlando, Florida, wasn't so great. I saw some things that I hope to never see again. Did you ever hear that expression? It's all fun and games till somebody loses an eye. All right, let's get to this pyramid. Of course, Peyton. Peyton, you have yet to admit that you were fooling around. First, you chipped her over the leg of the chair. Then it wasn't the leg of the chair. Then it was Kendall's leg. But I'm hearing that you were making fun of the ballet routine on stage, and you were doing ballet steps, fooling around, and that's how you felt. Who are you hearing these stories from? Every single person that was backstage. She turned around and tripped over a prop. Don't try to make lies about my daughter. Peyton put this entire team and your victory in jeopardy. If you don't want her on the team and you want to kick her off, just kick her off. Goodbye. You're Goodbye. Off. Go. Let's go, Peyton. Go. Remember that when you go to ask her back again. You can't keep messing with somebody's head over and over. You're the liar, not my daughter. Every single one of you have learned in this studio what is acceptable behavior backstage. Is it acceptable to be dancing, to be fooling around in the wings when another group is on stage? No. If you learned one thing this past weekend, everyone's replaceable. Does it feel better when you win, or does it feel better when you lose? When you win. So don't go out there and make any mistakes. You love the dance. It's cute. It looks great. If you don't win, we'll blame it on your mother's stirrup feet. <laughs> I'm really nervous about my solo because I might forget the moves. Abby would totally yell at me if I forgot this dance. 163, if the shoe fits. I think that she had a really good chance of winning this competition. However, she fell, so. I really don't think that people realize she didn't do her whole dance. Oh my god. 
on the stage where I was supposed to turn and my neck got stuck on the tape and it like gave me a big brush burn. So I have scars all over my chin.
I was really nervous about Brooke going on and her hip being hurt. I wasn't sure how well she'd be able to perform, but she did great and she pulled it off. And, you know, I was nervous, but she knew what she was doing. To the stage, we have entry number 276. I didn't think too much about the candy apple number. It was very dark. The costumes were dark. The number was dark. I think it was something about a circus. I'm watching Taylor, totally not with the group of dancers. She is a beat behind. She looks shaky. I'm very concerned about what's going on. And down she goes. What is she doing? Oh, God. They were doing really well. And then all of a sudden, they were off. Taylor ran off the stage. Something's not right. Oh my God! Taylor looks really hurt, and she's my teammate now. I hope she's okay. I just saw my ankle, and I feel like it's broke. What? I can't move. Oh boy! Wait, what were you doing, with Taylor? Because you were totally off on everything. I know. I gave up. This kid is in a traumatic state. She's hysterical crying. I feel my ankle. It feels like it's popped down. Okay, okay, okay. it's all right. It's all right. Just calm down. This could take her out the rest of the season. It's all right, honey. Here. It's all right. She could be out for dancing. That's going to stink for us. I have to be on top of things. And then I don't want it to seem like it's harsh, but who's coming in as a replacement? Well, Kendall, you're going to have to replace Taylor. Can you do that for us? Yes. It's very unfortunate that, that Taylor got hurt, but Kathy is fortunate to have Kendall that she can fit right into any of Taylor's positions. How's your ankle, honey? It was really huge when I got home last night. It was swollen when she got home last oh, night. No, sprains are like painful. Connie's ankle is not doing well, but she's gonna pull through and dance for the last week. You're out for the kill, Kalani. Out for blood. 120%. This is it. As if this is your last dance, okay? pressure on me this week because last season I won nationals so I don't want to like go off a huge win and lose so kind of nervous how's your, how's your foot just give yourself like two minutes okay whenever I go to like do something yeah it's like I try to make it do it and just like it's fighting you yeah well don't push it too much I've never seen Kalani complaining like this before. She can't even put pressure on it. And this is her last dance. This is not good. And I'm very concerned that this is going to hinder the way she dances, or if she dances. OK, Kalani, so remember the intensity I asked? Use your pain in your ankle for that intensity, like as if it, I mean, it's gonna hurt. So then just kind of. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. So look like it hurts. Going into nationals, Kalani's injured. And it's hard as a dancer when you can't put your best foot forward on your last and final dance. I cannot believe that this is the last time we will be in this green room 
with the girls in front of these vanities, it's gonna be a very emotional day. I keep getting shooting pains down my toes, my left foot. Like every second, just. I've never seen Kalani so nervous to go on stage. Last time we went to nationals, Kalani won a huge title. And on top of that, her ankle is hurting her, but she needs to get it together because this could be the last time she will do a solo with this team. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be going with number 21, a senior advanced contemporary solo out for blood. She was amazing. She was fierce. Insane. Are you dead? Actually, wait, wait, hang on. Ow. I just finished my solo, and my ankle is killing me. It hurts. Like, it really does hurt. You don't cry over those things early. I was like, oh, it must have really hurt. On to our senior advanced solo with the second overall score in the a tie. Number 39, leave or go. And number 21, out for blood. Tie for second. For second. Second overall with the tie. Is that where she would want to be for her last dance? No, but she is injured. Kalani went on that stage and did her job as a dancer. She made it look easy. That says a lot about Kalani as a dancer. Okay. What happened? Oh my god. What happened? She walked right into the what curling iron. Oh, oh, she walked right into the curling iron. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She walked into the curling iron. When we were cleaning up for the competition, I was putting away my curling iron and I was wrapping up the cord and I don't know if I turned or Paige bent down. Somehow, my curling iron burnt Paige on the arm. Here's some ice. <laughs> and here's this. Oh. The kids and the moms were just great trying to help her out, make her laugh, and, you know, make her feel better. You know, Holly was getting her ice. It really got her good. Yeah, you okay. did really get it good. <laughs> OK, you're going to live. I, I think it made Paige feel a lot better. I feel so bad. Mm. Where's my? Makes you feel better. Push. Push. Uh oh. <gasps> she just twisted her ankle. Oh my god. You better oh go down god, there, Holly. Can you can, can you stand on it? Mia went down really hard. I know my child has a high tolerance for pain, but if she's crying, I know things must be really bad. When I landed on it, my foot kind of twisted. You're doing a straddle. That's the hardest thing to land. How about trying to stand up here? Use your other leg. Point. Does that hurt? It hurts when I already point. It hurts when I already point. Can you circle it? Yeah, but it hurts. Nia has been working really hard this week with the group number as well as the trio, and an injury like this could be a major setback for her. If it gets worse and she can't do it, we have to pull her. Everybody else has to learn to adjust. Your foot's shaking. You know, 
I took Nia to the doctor's office today because I knew that foot would, had been bothering Nia, and I thought, better to get it checked out. Better safe than sorry. What's going on with this foot here? Well, it hurts. It hurts? And Nia usually has a high tolerance for pain, so you usually don't think much of it. She can usually dance through a lot of it, but. OK. And never any problems with her foot before this? Never. She's always been fine. Looking at the x-rays, that looks like a stress fracture. You can keep dancing, but I want you to tape your toes here for about three weeks. So I can still do, like, all my tricks? Oh, no, not so much. The doctor said it's OK for Nia to dance if she tapes up her foot, but she shouldn't do her tricks. As a mom, this is a really tough decision to make. Nia really wants to dance, and she really needs to go all out to impress the Joffrey Ballet Scout. I've been icing my foot, but I hope it doesn't hurt while I'm dancing. Please welcome to the stage Mackenzie, Nia, and Paige with the trio performance, Girl Fun. I'm waiting in the crowd for the trio to come on, and I'm incredibly worried. I know somewhere in this crowd is the Joffrey Ballet Scout, and I also know that Nia's not 100%. trio was great this week. It was very age appropriate for a change. It was cute. And the girls did some really hard tricks that a lot of girls their age can't do. I was so worried about my foot, but when I hit the stage, I didn't worry about my foot at all. Others thought that these two trios being in the same age division would be a conflict of interest. But it happens all the time. So I wanted to let them do their thing, let them have their moment. I want them to shine. I think the audience liked it. Too. Oh, you did your Hey, girls. Good job. I thought it was entertaining. It was exciting. It was fun. There's not a lot of gymnastics on the stage today. So I think they really entertained the audience. How am I doing? What? Watch out. You're going to stay? You're good. You have to watch your back foot coming in. Do you have anything else to say for Nia? No, it was good. I thought it was good. You guys want all this big description for a two minute and 10 second dance. Well, you know, they don't have a whole lot of time on stage, so when they go, it's nice to get some we, feedback. Well, you'll have to get all those judges of all these competitions that they go to and, and listen to them. It's incredibly frustrating to sit and watch and not get any feedback, constructive criticism. My child gave it her all. She went out there and performed, and she couldn't get any type of feedback from Abby. Mia came back from an injury, and Abby just did not care. Yeah, Abby, you know what? I sent her by herself last season. You grilled me to no end, and I was not only finished, but done. Well done. I think she's immature, and I think she needs to grow up a little bit. You didn't walk in her shoes when she couldn't walk, and she was in a wheelchair. Oh, are we on this feet thing again? We are, because that's who she is. I understand And she doesn't that. use that to define her. She doesn't use it as a crutch, but every now and then, she does have pain, which is real. But there's no injury. It's real. I'm about this far from pulling the duet. No, she needs to do the duet to prove to you that she's capable of dancing, and dancing well through pain. I know, but your mouth is ugly, woman. Like you a are a monstrosity of evil. You want to talk about ugliness. You're done. You're done. No duet. Whatever. I'm a monstrosity of evil? Yes, you monstrosity are. Of evil. That's your name and reputation. Yep, I know. Evil monstrosity. I got it. I have to do something to keep these moms in line. Last week, Christy flipped out, and now Holly's acting up. If there aren't consequences for their horrible behavior, they're just going to keep doing it. Three years ago, I didn't know if my kid could walk again, let alone dance again. And she's making fun of it, making a mockery of that. That's wrong. But you know what? Mia has survived much worse than this. And this would just reflect on how mean-spirited that woman is. 
because that's why I'm here to defend my kid when she acts like a fool. Wow. Abby and Holly got into an argument. And Did you bump Abby said she's pulling the duet. But I was ready to dance. No. And that's what I told her. I was like, Mia's ready to dance. Like, she's ready to prove to you that she is fine and she can dance, and this is why she is walking and doing what she's doing. I need to talk to Abby and convince her to let these girls dance. I don't want my daughter to be punished for something she didn't do. It's just not fair. OK. All right, we're all set. Duet's pulled. Kendall is on shortly. Do we really have to pull the duet? It's done. It's already finished. But can't I do it? No. Your mother was rude to me. I'm sorry. It's done. I pulled it. Over. I am not going to be spoken to that way. Not by a man downstairs from Kathy and not by you. Abby, give it. Abby, take it away. Nobody is going to speak to me that way. I didn't put up with it from Christy. Tell her to keep it up, and you'll be suspended. Abby, I am asking you in a very professional, motherly way to give Mia back that solo. No. She has earned it, Abby. Right, and you screwed it up. I did not screw it up. Yes, you did. Paige would like to dance. I understand, Paige. Sorry, you're a victim of the circumstances. You're not doing the duet. But you are evil. That's why I called you evil. OK. Come on. Kendall, you ready for evil? Let's go. I want to see your standing back tuck. Oh, easy. Oh, I'll do mine, too. Ready? No, do not do your standing back Can I try it, Sabby? No, this is cement underneath this carpeting. Paige, Paige, can you not do it? Well, then do it and let's go. I want to eat my lunch. You better do it. Paige hurts her foot. I just can't win. Can you curl your toes? Did you come down on it this way or digging it? Digging. Digging it. Paige is really upset about her foot. I'm surprised she's not crying. OK, well, don't tape her. You're not in the dance. You got to get the foot checked. Paige could have been in that group. But you know what? I can't risk her injuring herself any further. All right, we have Paige out by default with an injury. It's my hope that if Paige can't dance with these kids, Abby's going to need Kendall. Where are Paige and Kelly? We're at the doctor's. Today? I think it's more serious than just a toe. She said it's really swollen. Oh, my goodness. Paige isn't here. She's not even here for the pyramid. I don't know how badly the foot is injured. Kids, do you understand that your body is your instrument? that you need to take care of it. And I said, girls, don't fool around. There's cement underneath this carpeting. I remember vividly saying that. It was an accident. Most people would just take it for what it is, an accident, and not blame someone. But Abby is all about the blame. Chloe, you have asked me for years about a duet with you and Paige. This is the week. Chloe and Paige have been begging Abby for years to do a duet. I really hope that Paige's injury isn't serious. Come on. Oh my god, there's Kelly and Paige is in a boot. We just got back from the orthopedic doctor. It's broken. Ugh. Yep. Four to six weeks, she can't dance. No. Four to six weeks? Yep. Chloe's crying. You know why Chloe's crying? Because you got your duet this week. Oh, Chloe is going to be crushed. Oh, Paige. I'm really sad that I broke my foot, but I'm even more sad that I'm not going to be able to do a duet with Chloe. We've been waiting a long time to dance together, and now we have to wait even longer. I don't want to fight with you, Kelly, but I think it's important that she learn just the same. I think she should be in here with a notebook. If she's part of the team. She should be here. Paige is out for four to six weeks. I have no idea how this is going to help us for nationals. Having one member of your team down, but you know what? The show must go on. Hi, Paigey. How are you? What happened? It's broke. How long are you out for? Four to six weeks. Four to six weeks? I'm sorry, honey. Right at summertime, you go in. Kendall, what do you say to Paige? Good luck. I really feel bad that Paige is injured, but maybe I could fill in for her, and maybe Abby could just let me be on the team. So you weren't in here for Pyramid? No, I was at the doctor's. You don't know what who's on top, what, what's going down this week? Mm-mm. Me and Chloe were supposed to have our duet. So Abby told you you had a duet this week, and now you can't dance it? Did she tell you who's going to be in it instead? Right? She said that Clay might be doing a solo. That's all right. There'll be other duets in your future. 
It happens all the time on dance teams. Unfortunate for Paige, fortunate for Kendall. Hi, Paigey Mac. Hello. Hi, Pumpkin. Did you learn anything in there? Mm-mm. What Taking did you write in your book? Nothing. She was here. Oh, what was she doing? Asking questions about this weekend. Why is she asking what happened at Pyramid? Like, Jill, you're not part of the group. Get it through your head. You're not part of our group. It doesn't matter what happened at Pyramid. Abby, so Paige broke her foot. Well, she didn't break her foot. She broke her toe up into her foot. I wish I could hear what was going on. I know. So what now with Paige out? She told me she's out for four to six weeks. That has nothing to do with you. Well, I understand not me personally, and that's very unfortunate. But maybe now is there a spot for Kendall? Oh, my God. She's like, she can sniff out an opening. She <laughs> must have smelled Paige's broken foot from a mile away. She's like, uh... there's a spot in the pyramid for Kendall. I am the last person to ever take Abby's side in anything. But in the case of Jill versus Abby, Abby wins. Jill, you have to understand that when you left, you didn't just disappear. You went to this arch rival enemy. Abby, we've been over this. I know. And it's very hurtful and also just a slap in the face. I was very hurt by the way you treated Kendall. You didn't let me do my job. I, I, I want Kendall in the group. I want Kendall to do it. Really, lady? Did you not learn anything the first time around? You need to realize your place. Okay. And you don't walk into a rehearsal. You don't walk into Pyramid. You don't throw your kid at people. I need to do what's best for Kendall. I need to I do what's best quality. for the group. Don't you, you think Kendall to deserves that. to be in that group? Kendall deserves nothing. It's not like Abby, we're all entitled. I want her to dance. I want her to take class. class. I want her to She's study. In class. I want her to she get better. She was in class last night, Abby. Uh-huh. Let me tell you who wasn't in class last tell night. Tell me. No Highland kids. No Chloe. They don't come to class. Kendall will come to class. These moms who give me a hard time for doing what's best for Kendall, I know deep down inside they would do the exact same thing. I can't live with myself that I took her away from here and took that opportunity away from her. So I really need you and want you to give her another chance. Sure, she sees it as a golden opportunity. I went downstairs because I heard Jill talking to Abby at the front desk, and I just wanted to let Jill know Paige is not out of the group. She's injured and will be back. So if she's trying to get Kendall to replace Paige, it's not happening. Why'd you ask Paige who was replacing her in the duet? I didn't. Why would you talk to Paige and not the moms about what's going this weekend? I before you put your claws in to get... I didn't know Paige was in there. But I didn't go you, scouting out Paige. Paige. I went in, she was sitting there with a but you didn't broken foot. I said, honey, how are you? What you were like, so what's going this weekend? I really didn't do anything inappropriate. You okay? You okay, Claire? You all right? You okay? Shake it off. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop, stop. Look at me. Don't freak yourself out. This dance is so important for Chloe because even if Abby stacked the deck against our team, Chloe's the lead in this number and she needs to go out there and lead this team to victory. The eagle. Let's do this. May the best team win. Entry number 63 is a preteen group contemporary. Light as a feather, stiff as a board.
Despite everything that Abby did to give the other team an edge, our girls did it. They were amazing. But is it enough for a win? I don't know. In second place, we have entry number 63, light as a feather, stiff as a board. And in first place, can I have a drum roll, please? Entry number 62, The Rapture. When we got called a second place, I was so devastated because I actually thought we were going to win this one today. Abby said, may the best team win, and obviously we didn't win. Better than our kids. They're gonna beat us every time. Oh. I, I am sick for these girls. And the saddest part is, is they don't realize they were set up to fail. No, no tears, no, no tears. tears. You know what? Stop. They were better. They won. I think at this point, our girls are crushed. And I don't think it has anything to do with losing. I think it has everything to do with the fact that Abby brought in a team intentionally to beat them. What's going on? You have five really upset, sad children. He just wanted to be fair. Yeah. Life's not fair. Life is not fair, but you know what? These kids deserve better. It's sore losers. You didn't oh, like to lose. No. They had to stop being a doormat for everyone else who walks through the door. Straighten your legs, point your feet, do what you need to do. My instinct is to bench my original junior league competition team. They did not behave the way the Abby Lee Dance Company is supposed to behave. Well, you know what? Turn your back on the world. You just like, well, just walk out. Well, do whatever, Abby. That's a very cowardly way of approaching it's life. It's not. I'm not being a coward. You're wasting my time, and I'm not getting paid to stand down here and argue with you. Maddie, stop crying. Stop crying. Tell them to stop crying. I'm so excited for these girls. Kalani, Kendall, and Bryn all have these amazing, beautiful, well thought out contemporary solos from an outside choreographer. These kids are all really, really excited. But I look at Kendall and I, I know something's wrong. Hey, how do you feel, honey? Tell me what you want to do. Can you dance? You don't want to do a solo. No, no, it's not that she doesn't want to do it. But I don't think you can hurt it more. I think it's probably just muscular. It's probably, you know, a little sore muscle. I hurt my neck this morning. I can't really turn my head at all, and I can't believe that it had to happen this week because this is my best solo that I've ever had. The worst thing would be to do the solo and then have it hurt worse because the group dance we can't redo. Right, we can't rewind group dance. Just slowly stretch and see what you can do. Worst timing ever for a Kindle to have a neck injury. I know this solo is a really big breakthrough moment for her to show Abby the kind of dancer she is, because Abby has pigeonholed Kindle as a certain type of dancer. So the fact that she has this neck injury and the potential that she has to choose the solo or the group or both, ugh, what a week for this to happen. Don't cry ever. It's all right. Do it another time. Just sit down. Do you want to know in five years she's never been injured, no. never not danced? It makes total sense that Kendall is so nervous about this solo because she literally is making herself tight in her neck. She has so much more to prove to Abby because Abby has always made sure Kendall knew she wasn't the best. She's in tears, Joe. Yeah, oh, I know. I, she's so in tears. So am I in my heart. Kendall, it's OK. You saved yourself for the group, and now you have an amazing routine next week or the week after. I'm devastated, but she needs to be 100% on top of her game for the group dance. Get past them, switch the and then we're going to take that piece from the old dance that we did last year, and let me see that hip, 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 go. This is my favorite part. When all the moms are watching our group, it's obvious that they watch my daughter because she is the star, and your eyes just go directly to her. What's up with Maddie? She doesn't feel well at all. Like she went like this. 
If she pukes, I'm not cleaning it. Maddie, I know you're not feeling well, but suck it up. We gotta get through this, okay? She looks green, practically, and pale. She looks horrible. She's crying. From the top, five, six, seven, eight, and hip, 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 hip. Sweetie, why, why the tears? Because my stomach's hurt. See that picture? That's the position you need to be in. Get too emotional. You have to worry about the win. Got it? No mishaps. Five, six, seven, eight. Don't tell me she's dancing. Switch. I have to go check on Maddie. It looks like she's going to throw up. <laughs> go. Stop crying. Stop acting like this. I smell my goods. Do you feel like you're going to have to throw up? You look like you were going to throw up. No. Okay, stop crying. It's making it worse. What do you mean? You never leave dance class. No, my stomach just started to hurt. I don't know why. Maddie wasn't feeling well. Her stomach hurt really bad. She was crying. I can't stand a child that's sick. What do you mean? You never leave dance class. Maddie is a perfectionist in everything she does. You never miss dance. Let's go. She got sick maybe two years ago at dance, but she's never missed a day of dance. Maddie works so hard because to make it to Broadway or to a TV show, you really need to focus on dance all the time. So we never stop. Up, down, down, switch, split, step, hit, ball change. All right, up next in the junior solo division, we have entry number 17. This is Fallon's opportunity to make an impression. I want to see how she handles the spotlight and also how she handles the pressure. This is Fallon with Voices in My Head. for me. She just forgot the whole dance and she's making all this crap up as she goes along. So, disqualify her. Well, we can't disqualify her for that reason. Fallon, look, Abby's gonna yell at you, but listen to me. You know and I know, because we've I seen them. Idea. I know you know it, and it's okay. Oh. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Oh, what happened? She sliced it. That's why she started improving. Oh, I didn't even see That's that. Why. She started improving. She rolled over and heard it. And we were wondering what happened. I've never seen her do anything like this but since she's been like dancing. It happens. It was not her time. Hey, ladies. Oh. Hi there. Oh, OK, here it comes. Hey, ladies, I just came in to tell your new little teammate how noble of you to keep dancing. That's what it's all about, doll. It's all about forgetting your dance, and keep going. I would never run to the judge's station to try and have you disqualified, which is what Abby did. Yeah, 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 OK. You need to go, honey. She's not one of our students. Oh, oh, nice! How about that? She came in, learned her solo in two days, like we do, and it wasn't great on stage. Where does it say in the rules that you have to learn your solo in two days? Our kids work their asses off day in, day out. And our kids under, don't? No, no, they don't. Leave, leave. It's amazing the things that you guys are fed into your bubble heads. At least we don't have bubble butts. Oh, God. Slam it, slam it, slam it. 
I can't believe the audacity of Kathy coming into our dressing room. You know what, Kathy? Mind your own business. All right, Fallon. I'm very disappointed in you. We worked hard on that routine. You went out there. You forgot your dance. You were just bumbling around on the stage. I don't really need your side of the story. I don't really care what happened because the judges and the audience all think that you were a little kid who got in way over their head this week and forgot their dance. Don't cry, because you're gonna make me feel bad for yelling at you. I think it's clear to everyone at this time that we reached the end of the road for Cheryl and Fallon. I think it's time for everyone's sake that they go home. I just want you to know that you had your chance, you had your golden opportunity, you could have went out there and beat Kendall. Then, you would have a spot on this team. And some of those kids that you just danced in this group with, they're not that fabulous. But somehow, they make it work. And that comes with time. And we don't have time, OK? Forgetting a costume, unforgivable. Doing your own choreography in place of mine, never going to happen. We are going to be doing a routine. The routine is called Light My Fire, and it's hip hop. This week, our group dance is hip hop, and I'm really excited, but none of us can hip or hop. Now, Paige, it's been weeks. I think that you are capable of performing in this hip hop routine. She has to get approved by the doctor first. Absolutely. But it's going to be with the boot on. I got strict instructions from the doctor that she is to do no dancing until four weeks. But we still have another week to go. Is Paige really yeah. improving with her boot? Then <laughs> shake your boot, Paige. <laughs> two, two, three, four, five. The doctors x-ray Paige's foot, and we were given permission from the doctor to walk. We were not given permission to dance. So my agreement with Abby was for Paige to do the dance from the waist up. Six, seven, eight, cross and hit. One of the reasons I chose hip hop was so that I could incorporate Paige. She can do all the upper body movement. She can hit all the isolations. Question about the hip hop dance. What? I was under the impression that Paige was just going to be doing upper movements, so arm did movements I. and stuff. That's well, what I told she her. obviously was not just doing upper movements because she broke her boot. I'm rehearsing three shows in one day, and I am too busy for any mother or any kid to interrupt my plans. That was it right there, that part right. Paige, there's really not a lot of footwork. Now, if you can't do the inverting your knee or the digging or the beveling, you can still do from the waist up. Peyton's really drawing my eyes downstage. I didn't even look at the boot. I, but I'm not concerned about you seeing the boot. I'm concerned about the foot being broke in the boot. Our agreement was she could dance from the waist up. Well, then just do the arms, Paige. Modify it. So when you walk out to your spot at the beginning, let's take it from the top. She looks like an idiot. You still have She can't do that. No. Like, sorry. Don't do the feet, Paige. Just do those arms, big. Is she still doing, like, where she kneels down and goes to push-up position and kneels back down and stands up and stuff? Because that's all right on the part of her foot that's broken. Kelly takes it upon herself to scream from the audience. Paige needs to sit down. Her poor foot. She needs to sit down. Well, you know what? You can go home and sit down. Go over there on that part quickly. I have about two more minutes to spend on this. I don't want you to have to redo this whole dance. Paige just doesn't need to be in it. Am I allowed to come up there? No, I need to start again, Paige. Paige? She said it hurt. She's sitting down. She can't stand up. We're getting ice. OK. My agreement was for Paige to do the dance from the waist up. I mean, I had strict instructions from the doctor, no dancing for four weeks. I know you want to. But you you can't injure like it more and not be able to do nationals. I have to step up being a mom, and Paige's health is way more important than being in a stupid dance. Well, what do you want to do? Do you want to try to change the dance? Do you want to modify it? Do you want to sit in the fire? Do you want to not do it at all? Do you want to get a new boot? 
It's her year-end dance concert. I know. I don't want her to spend the whole time sitting in the audience. I know. So if you're fine and dandy and you can go out there and you can do it and the boots supporting you, fine. If you don't want to do it at all, fine. I'm okay with both. <laughs> Honey, I just don't have time to re-choreograph a dance on stage from Well, that's what I'm saying. Away. I don't want you to have to re-choreograph it. I just... All right. And if it comes to you having to change everything, she might as well just not do it. All right. On with the show. Why did she? Why did she? Yeah, Leslie? I don't know. Not let her dance. Because she, Leslie, she was supposed to only dance from the top oh, up and be a statue in the back. So right. why didn't she well, do that? I wasn't at rehearsal, and they were teaching it. I to was her. at rehearsal, and she didn't speak up. I said it once, and they told. I, I didn't hear you. Why did she show up for the rehearsal if you knew that's the only number they were practicing? Because she was supposed to be in the number, Leslie. Everybody knows that hip hop is a really hard dance. You know, you're up, you're down, you have to bend your, you know, you bend at the knees, you're hopping, you're jumping. And, and I'm a little surprised that she is still in it, being that Kelly pulls her kids out of umpteen numbers time after time. I don't understand. If she's hurt, why was she supposed to be in the number? Abby wanted her in the recital. So she was supposed to stand in the back of the number and dance from the waist up at the fire. Were you one of the mothers that was in there videoing it? No, I was not. OK, well, everybody else was. And if I would have known, I would have told you. I was there videoing. So were all these other mothers if they would have told you. I was hoping to not have to deal with Leslie this weekend. I have enough pressure on me at the dance concert right now. You know, I have a daughter with a broken foot. I have another one who has a bad back. And I just can't deal with Leslie right now. She's not supposed to be dancing. The doctor I get that, but I'm very confused after she was in the rehearsal last night. I don't get. Leslie, it's none of your business. OK, Kelly. What I do with you my You know kids. what? You Add that out. meeting to your list. You need AA meeting, and now you need to go and see a therapist. So now you got two meetings that you should be attending. You're a liar. Oh, I'm don't a liar. Another don't ask your daughter, daughter if she yet. really pushed my lie. No, I didn't. Go get my daughter and bring her in. Yeah, and, I, and I'll go get Diane yes. Bass and go bring ask my daughter. Don't ask your daughter yeah. if she pushed her. Kelly can never even elaborate on why Peyton supposedly pushed Paige down. It's all lies. These women are brutal liars. They're liars. Let's go get them. You're a liar. You're, all, you're a liar and let's go get them. Liar. You bring them here. I'm not following you. I bring them right here. Come in and here. you know what? Now, now you catch your best friend. You're a liar. Oh. Feel dizzy? All right, why don't you take a seat, OK? You want to keep that foot up. Mackenzie has to stay off of her foot. And you were her opposite. And now you don't have an opposite. So what do I do with Asia? Asia and Mackenzie are so much smaller than everybody else on this team that they both need to be in this group number to offset one another. They're both like two cute little bookends. So you're going to come into the group, and you're going to learn it. But I don't know if you're in it or not. It's unfortunate that Kenzie's hurt right now. So um, I'm waiting patiently to see if she's going to get a chance to be in this group this week. Okay. So why did Mackenzie start crying, though, all of a sudden, in the middle of Pyramid? Did you notice the timing? Oh. Mackenzie started crying as soon as Asia was announced that she was at the top of the pyramid. I think she's intimidated. It didn't even register on my radar. Melissa's daughters can't be outdanced. So rather than have Asia and Mackenzie go head to head, Melissa pulls Kenzie from the dance. Smart Melissa. Melissa has made it very clear to all the moms she's not the least bit threatened by Asia or Christy. I'm going to go ask Abby about the costume. But if I was Melissa, I would feel a little threatened. So what's happening with the foot? What do you think? Um, but she really wants to dance. I mean, Asia comes in from out of town. Boom. She comes in right when Mackenzie's injured. Asia and Mackenzie both have great qualities, and they also both have a lot of flaws. But if Mackenzie keeps sitting and Asia keeps dancing, Asia's going to get better. You know, she doesn't want to let Asia waltz into here from 3,000 miles away and pass her up and take her spot. Now, before I get started on this week's assignments, I want to ask Mackenzie where your cast is. You should have an air cast on that foot. My foot doesn't hurt anymore. And what's your doctor's excuse? Did you go to the doctor again? No. Oh, wait, yeah. No, you did not, Kenzie. You didn't go back to the doctor. Can Tell me exactly what the doctor told you. He said that it's OK to dance. 
And how did he look at your foot again? He did it. So over the phone? When he said that she has to rest it until it feels 100%, she knows her own body. She knows her own body. She can't even create a sentence to answer me with. I'm sorry. The doctor said two weeks, and I don't feel comfortable going against his wishes. It has not been two weeks. I don't want Mackenzie dancing because she's eight years old. She's little. Those tiny little bones in her feet are fragile. And Mackenzie has the potential to go the distance in her dance career. I don't want to do something now that's going to prevent her from having a career further down the line. Speaking of Mackenzie, I have a question. What changed with Mackenzie that now she's 100% ready to go? Because her foot feels better. Either Mackenzie really wasn't that hurt to begin with, or she's really still hurt now. But one way or the other, you're lying. This is what my the doctor said to me, Christy. Mackenzie can dance when she feels 100% confident in her foot. It, you she knows going her on body. And on and on for weeks that she can't dance. She can't dance. She can't dance. She rests. But she, she rested for a whole week doing literally nothing. A week nothing. really isn't that long to rest. Well, you know what? Mackenzie feels better and she's fine. To that corner and fall on the ground. What number is this? It's called the final tax. The last tax. What is Asia doing? Replacing Mackenzie, it looks like, but. Yeah. She won't let Kenzie dance. Mackenzie's not dancing right now, and we need to rehearse this routine. So why wouldn't I put Asia in the number? But Asia doesn't know this routine. They don't, she doesn't dance. She does a round of back handspring and back dies. Back handspring and dies. Oh my gosh, so do you think Abby won't let her dance? Well, maybe it's just for rehearsal. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, I think Asia could be a backup for Mackenzie, but she's not a team member. Mackenzie's a team member. She's fine. Ask her yourself. How? Why don't you call the doctor and ask him? Don't take it out on me that Abby pulled your kid from a dance. Because my kid and the rest of our kids have been listening to Abby talk about how wonderful your children are and your daughter is all week. And we haven't told you to go F yourself. Listen, this is for the view. Millions and millions of people are watching that. There will be no mistakes. Hey, hey, how you doing? You have to go this weekend. If I leave you at home and you dance all weekend, what if you get hurt again and you're not good for New York City? Then Asia's going to be doing The View. Like right now, Asia's rehearsing your spot. This is Mackenzie's number, the last text. She deserves to be in the number. There's, There's a rumor going around. Mackenzie must know. Wanting. That Melissa saying. Yeah, I do. I mean, Asia's bullying Mackenzie. No, Asia just came up to me and she goes, oh, I'm rehearsing the group thing for the view, but Kinsey had Maddie tell me that I was out of it because she's perfectly fine. But wait, why would Maddie go and tell her that? That's not her job. Well, that's what I told I said, Asia, I said, just wait. Well, I me, said, me it's Abby's Melissa. decision, not Melissa. Yeah, this so is I, her team. It's not Asia's team. Exactly. Right, I understand, but then let's let's compete. Yeah, I but if Mackenzie that. can't compete, then she can't do the view. I know you want to dance. I want to dance. I know. I want to go to the okay. I don't think Mackenzie should be taken out of the dance. Mackenzie does a round off back handspring. That's all she does. So she needs to let Mackenzie dance. Usually it's Chloe and Maddie. They compete against each other. Asia and Mackenzie, okay. they're not competing against each other. They're competing well, against each not, other not, for not, the spot they, on the view. Yeah. So yeah, they are competing yeah. against each other. I got to ask you something. Asia came up to me and said the girls told her she's out of the show on the view instead of Abby telling her. Abby said Mackenzie's on the view. OK, well, I wish there was not like this whole charade about her rehearsing it, and then now I'm not in it. Things change all the time, Christy. I think it's safe to say that Christy Ray has two sides. She has the I'm so perfect dance mom side, and then she has the I'm a stage mom bitch. It's not about Asia not being in the no. group. It's about this whole charade. Don't let her what rehearse. Charade? The charade about the foot. Oh. What the f is wrong with the foot? There's nothing wrong with it now. It's fine. OK, then That's what's fine. the charade? Compete. She wants to so get, a, you know, get an x-ray and a doctor's note with a real doctor's note with an x-ray with a written instead of bringing a note and saying two weeks rest. I mean, it gets kind of ridiculous. Whoa, whoa, Mackenzie, what are you doing? This is hard cement. I need you to get a shoe on. This is the end of two weeks, like the doctor originally said. The doctor with the, uh, the iPhone that can see through the phone to your foot and touch it and feel it. 
Abby still hasn't decided who will be dancing on The View yet, whether it's Mackenzie or Asia, but if Melissa wants Mackenzie to dance, she would be wise to tell her to sit down and stay off her foot. In the clothes that you have on right now, I'd like you to run the last text. Since we're doing it next week, I want to see if I want to make any changes. We are going to New York City next week, and we're going to be on The View doing the last text. So I need these kids to run that number at every opportunity. I need to look at this routine, and I need to look at it now. Sick on feet. You do that, I will literally grab that hand and drag you off the stage. Is, is it clear that she's going to be on The View, or should I? You never know. Asia's been running the dance. She's been rehearsing. She knows the part. So at this point, I think Asia should be on The View. Does that mean Asia's doing the last text? Mackenzie's definitely bummed. She wants to dance. She wants to dance in the worst way. We'll see. I've arranged for the kids to perform on The View. And we're going to do our award-winning number from the national finals, The Last Text. And Asia, you will be doing The Last Text. Mackenzie's been in the dance since the get-go. I mean, and she's fine. You know, she hasn't been dancing. And I would like her to be in it. Which, that's just it. She hasn't been dancing. Yeah, but I would like her to be in it. She's part of this team. And she's been here since she's three years old. I think you should give her a chance. Melissa, I need you to let me work. Understand? I think Mackenzie should be dancing on The View for sure. She's been a part of this team since the beginning. And Asia just came. Come on, let's move over here. I want this to be on your mind first, but you know it. So we're just going to review it. Going to yell out some corrections. This is what we're going to do. Mackenzie was originally in the last text, but now I have Asia. I really don't know what's going on with Mackenzie's foot. Melissa is the one that said Mackenzie was hurt. Mackenzie's crying. Mackenzie's in pain. We went to a doctor, blah, 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 blah. And now we're here in New York City, and the kids have a chance to be on The View. Suddenly, her foot's fine, and Melissa's backpedaling again. Somebody has to hold Melissa accountable for her words, and it's going to be me. You don't want to hit your grunge tape behind Kendall. Really straighten those knees on that backhand spring. There wasn't enough energy in that arm. It's like, you can't put your hand on the floor, Paige. Melissa, who do you, what do you think is going to go on with the last text? Do you think that Asia's doing it, or do you think she's going to put Kenzie in it? I would assume that Asia's in it. I don't know. I think at this point, I think it's Asia. I'm going to talk to Abby about it. You did, or you? I'm going to, absolutely. I'm not going to let my, my daughter just be here and not do anything. It's not right. That little girl has been dragged around for the last three weeks, ready to dance, and she's not allowed. I'm totally backing Melissa. Mackenzie feels better. Mackenzie was in the dance. It's Mackenzie's spot. It's a no-brainer. Asia's practicing really hard, so oh, why I can't they both be in the group? Well, I don't know. You have to ask Abby. That's Abby's call. It's not my call. It's not Asia's call. So, okay. so you understand this was our national winning number, why Mackenzie should be in it, why not Asia. We have her add Kenzie to the group. Mackenzie has put her time in. But I'm not going to sit there and, and go, Asia, go tell Abby no. Whoever Abby picks, I'm fine with. But I do think that if Mackenzie is really hurt, that she shouldn't just be automatically OK because we're going on The View. Mackenzie, come here. I don't understand why your mom is letting Asia walk in and take over. She's had all this and all that, and everyone's loving her, and they're going to forget about you. And your mom's just sitting out there letting this woman come from California and take over everything. Try to be overstretching your splits. Do something while you're in here. So what did Miss Abby say to you? She said, why are you letting Christy and Asia come into here and take my spot? But you're, what did you say? I'm an eight-year-old kid. What am I supposed to do? She wants you to, to go do something about it. Okay. Not me. She wants you. OK, but what am I supposed to do about it, Kenzie? I'm going to talk to Miss Abby about it, because it's ridiculous. Okay. You're a team member. You're fine. You need to be in this dance. I have to convince Abby to let Mackenzie dance. I'm not allowing this new Christy to come in and just take over. 
Um, what do I have to do to get Mackenzie to dance again? I mean, I really think that she needs to go on The View. I just feel like you're replacing Mackenzie and you don't want her any on, in the group anymore. And she really wants to dance so bad. And I've been very dedicated to you. I would do anything you asked me to do. This isn't about you. She's just dancing like a little kid. She's like, she's, she's just eight. doing her, I gave her one older routine this season and mm -hmm. she forgot it and stood on stage. But you, well, I think she draws eyes. I think she's too short. She's, and she's a, she's is a foot small. shorter. I know, but she wants it. Her mother wants it. Mackenzie wants it too. I really I, have to this get is to a, this song. But this is about Mackenzie. I want her to dance and she wants well, to dance, Ab. Asia, come on. I'm definitely frustrated because Abby's like, nope, Asia's here, she's gonna dance. Abby has always told me that she wants my kids to stay as cute as long as they can. I don't want my daughter to be sassy on stage at age eight. Not at all. What? What happened? Did she have the courage to say something? I said to Abby, I said, Mackenzie wants to dance. She wants to dance. She says, well, you know, Mackenzie's too short. I said, Asia's the same size as Mackenzie. So what was the outcome of the conversation? She said, Asia wants it more than Mackenzie. I'm like, uh, OK. She said, you want it more for Asia. What, what am I here every freaking day? Oh, OK, here. but Melissa, now you're getting mad because she's saying that about Asia. But whenever she says to me, Maddie wants it more than your kids, you two look at me and say, I'm jealous. But so like, how do you like it? It's hard for me that a, a stranger comes in. Yeah, and... it's hard for us, too. That's the same thing. But you have to also respect what they're feeling every week. It's hard to see my eight-year-old not dance. I'm fully on Christy and Kelly's side. Well, of course you are, because she won Asia in the No, number. it has nothing to do about that. If it was me, I'd put Asia and Kenzie head to head, toe to toe. So there's nothing for me to prove. Five, six, seven, and Asia. <laughs> do you see where you are? Are you in line with that first poll? Yes. You came too far downstage. You know what? Asia, come out of there. Um, you go in right now so she can see what you do. I am swapping Asia and Mackenzie out, in and out, in and out, because I want to see who's going to actually perform. All right, Mackenzie, what happened? I give you the opportunity to practice it. I want to use Asia. And now you, you do a cartwheel, you stop, then you move forward and do a back answer. What was going on? I thought I was going to fall. Thought you were going to fall off the stage. I really want Mackenzie to do it because she was part of the original award-winning number. But Melissa has to learn that she doesn't get her cake and eat it, too. Asia's fine, but she did practice it. But you keep going back and forth with Abby about getting Kenzie in the dance. And yeah, I think, should. I'm huh? sticking up for my kid. Right, but I'm sticking up for mine, too. Because That's fine. she's mature again. enough to understand, but also it keeps being an issue in, in her face. And then you have Jill chiming in and everyone chiming in. That is what's not fair. I have Melissa here crying about Mackenzie going on. Asia is fine with whatever, but let's just get over with and let's just say who's going on stage so I don't have the peanut gallery here in the corner talking madness on Asia. Didn't you already talk to Abby? At you, the studio. Because you were really upset, and now you're like kind of. I'm, dee -dee 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 -dee. Like, I'm still upset. No, you're not. I'm not, not. going to do it in front. My kids are here, Christy, and we're on The View. So I we're know. happy to be on The View. OK, if Mackenzie's not in it, Mackenzie's not in it, OK? No, but I think that you I know I want Mackenzie. Mackenzie. I do but not I think know. you know. No, I don't. I think you do know, Melissa. I don't know. But why don't you ever just sit, like? Because I don't know that okay. if Mackenzie's in it or not. Okay. I want her in it. She's been on this team for years. No, nobody's she's saying been here that. For what, three, call, she's what I'm calling and you and out on I is don't the know. fact that you always do stuff behind everybody's no, back. Oh, oh. You do. Okay. You do, Melissa. It's an overuse injury, Christy. Get it. It's not a broken bone. I get it, but you're the one who made it into a huge thing. I mean. What else am I supposed to do? I mean, I want I my daughter to dance. Daughter I'm sorry. Not. But she's, you know, she's on the team. I want her to dance. I want Mackenzie to dance. She's ready to dance. When we're in our hotel room, all she does is dance and practice and stretch. She is ready. Careful, Careful Melissa. That's a, you're acting like a, a jealous mom. No, no, I'm just what saying. Kind of clue was that? Careful. She doesn't uh, like that it's like happening to somebody. Yeah. Because I'm trying to explain, but you don't let me talk. Yeah, I'm telling well, you, you need to be clear loves, because I'm talking. She talks likes, so I can understand you. I'm not talking. Woohoo! Perfect person. Christy, look at you. Whoa. Perfect person. I was just fabulous. Just, thank you. I want to be like that when I grow up. She looks great. Who's going to be in the dance? I'm not sure yet if Asia or Mackenzie are doing the dance. Mackenzie already got to do it, and she's been hurt. And it's, you know, I'm kind of getting that 
she was hurt because she didn't want to go up against Asia. So I need to go. I need to get into hair and makeup. That's show business, ladies. Have them ready. Okay. Okay. There they are. The Hello, stars ladies. of the day. Abby said, the next time she comes in here, she wants you dressed Kent. and ready to so be nice and warmed up. For the most part, Melissa is very guarded in not letting you see how upset she is that Asia is basically taking over Mackenzie's role. I mean, I think there's a perception that <gasps> Mackenzie's space or her place on the team is a little threatened by Asia. Let me see. Oh, don't don't do that again, Kenz. No more doing that. Okay, just leave it. This is life. It's not always fair, right? So. Whatever she decides, we're gonna go with it. If you're not in the dance, you, I know you're mature enough to understand. You know, most likely you're not gonna be in the dance, okay? So don't get upset. No pouting, no crying, okay? That's how it is, right? Okay, so you just watch and be happy and hope the group does really, does really well if you're in it. It is what it is. This is my decision. You are gonna do the number. You are coming out with me at the end. Understand? Yes. The next time you're hurt, I go to the doctor with you. Understood? Yes. Because I think your mother is lying. Let's go. I put Mackenzie in the last text because three different times I told Asia where she needed to fall. She kept doing it wrong. Wrong? Get you tossed out. Here to perform the last text. Please welcome the dance troupe from the Abby Lee Dance Company. Woo! When Mackenzie pops up from behind the seat in the last text, all is well in Melissa's little world. Look at her foot. Did you see her foot up? Mm -hmm. yeah. I never noticed I never her doing that before. Someone. Personally, I knew this was going to happen, but Abby's going to go ahead and take loyalty over talent. That's fine. surprised that Mackenzie ended up doing this dance at all. I think that Abby knew all week of who she was going to have do this dance. As soon as I did my cartwheel over the seat, I was like, I'm back. <laughs>